Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotac, and with the release of iOS 18.2 and iOS 18.2.1, Apple added a bunch of security patches. Sometimes they don't tell us every single thing they've patched, but they're always working to keep the iPhone safe and private. However, scam phishing attacks and malware have been part of our life for a long time, and there's a new scam exploiting iMessage, and I wanted to make you aware until Apple actually patches the issue. According to a recent article by Bleeping Computer, there's actually a new scam or social engineering trick being used to actually trick iPhone users into disabling a protection against links from someone you don't know. For example, typically when you're using iMessage, if you receive a link from someone and you don't know who it is, and they're not in your contact list, it will automatically disable any link sent to you. However, if you reply to a message, such as the example here from Bleeping Computer, basically it could be a political message or just a message from something else saying press Y to accept the reply, or maybe just reply stop to stop it. This will actually disable the option to protect us from those links. Then the links will become clickable. Basically, the iPhone recognizes that as someone that you may know since you've replied and then deems those links safe. They're using this to exploit that, and basically if you click the link, there's potential for malware, scams, and more. So that's something that's going on here, so I wanted to give you a few tips about this. The first thing is, if you receive a message like this, do not reply to it if it's someone you don't know. In fact, never reply to it unless it was something you were expecting. If someone messages you and you were expecting that message, maybe you signed up for something recently, whether that's a website or from a friend or something locally, then you can reply to it. Otherwise, never reply to it, never click any links or anything else. Also, if you have a message from someone, whether it's on iPhone or from Android, you should never ever click that link, even if it is from someone you know, unless you were expecting that link. In fact, I won't ever click a link from a friend or family member if they send it to me, unless I'm actually expecting it or talk to them about it beforehand. Oftentimes, I'll just go directly to the website itself to prevent any issues that you may have from that. So maybe someone sends me a link to a product, I'll actually type in that product and look for it myself in Safari. That's just something I've used as a habit since there's so many of these odd issues going around. Thirdly, you can also filter some of your messages to help make it easier to determine who is messaging you that you know and who hasn't messaged you before. There's actually an option for this. So in order to enable this, you wanna go into your settings, scroll down to the bottom, go to apps. Within apps, go to messages. Within messages, keep scrolling down almost all the way to the bottom and you'll see an option for filter unknown senders. If you enable this, it allows you to sort messages from people who are not in your contacts into a separate list. So if we turn this on, then we go back to messages. Now under my main messages, while I have it blurred, at the top left, you'll now see an option for filters. Tap on filters, and now you'll see the option for all messages, known senders, unknown senders, and unread messages, also recently deleted. This way you can sort that. However, be aware that you may accidentally filter legitimate messages as well as the system is not 100% perfect. So just be aware of that if you do enable this. But if you do and you go into unknown senders, I'm sure you'll see quite a few that you weren't expecting. So hopefully that just makes you aware of the issue. Make sure you don't reply to those messages and that's pretty much it. Now we could see some new security updates directly from Apple with the next version of iOS. You'll see that here on Apple's security release website. And sometimes they update this with more information just throughout the week. So you'll see here iOS 18.2.1 and iPadOS 18.2.1. They don't have anything published, but that doesn't mean they didn't patch anything. You'll also see things such as Safari 18.2, previous updates, iOS 18.2, and you'll see all the different patches that are included in that. Quite a few with iOS 18.2. So it's always important to be on the latest versions so that you don't fall for one of these issues or fall vulnerable to one of these exploits. Also, we're waiting for the next versions always, iOS 18.3 betas, iOS 18.3's public release, which I would expect sometime toward the end of January, maybe early February at this point. That's typically what we see every year, so we could see some additional security patches with that as well. So hopefully that gives you enough information to keep yourself safe from these issues with iMessage. And of course, there's always people trying to take advantage of other people, unfortunately. So let me know if you've run into this yourself, if you've experienced any issues, or if you're updated as well. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.